All right, we are back. We're going to be doing the Cayman Triple Threat Challenge. So this is the team we're going to be using. You're probably thinking, what? You said you were going to evolve him. Just give me a second. We're going to use Mitch, Rich Ren Mitch Richmond and Chris Cayman because we still need to review both of them. And we need to see if Wally Zerbiak got any better after you evolve him. I did spend the time to do it yesterday. It did take a couple games. I didn't realize. I started doing some of Jared Solinger's just because he has very easy ones. Just two specific things score points and get rebounds which him being center i just make sure that i make everybody get out of the paint and allow him to get the most opportunities to get that uh the position he to get rebounds because of position so now when you look we have mitch richmond chris gaiman and wally zerbiak which i'm hoping it just makes wally zerbiak feel faster his one negative is just he feels slow his release is very good. His handles are very weird. He has the worst crossover you can get. His behind the back really isn't bad. This might be difficult. The game's still like 70. So I'm not going to show 70 points. It's just I need to test everybody. So let's touch, test Mick Rich. So I know there, there's, I think there's an Amethyst or a Diamond or something. There's another Mitch Richmond card. And I'm, I don't, I'm not sure if I have him. I think I do have him. I'll have to check after this game. But, I don't know. Sometimes when you just make a card better overall, it doesn't make the card better. Like, oh, Jesus. Get him out the way. Pull up. Bottoms. He doesn't feel like it's an improvement, which, I'm not going to lie, I didn't think he was bad before. I thought he was pretty good. He's just a card that if you like him, he's small, which makes him a defensive liability, even if he does have good stats. Doesn't matter if he's fast. He's a defensive liability. Now, do I hate this this Rich Mitchman card? Mitch Richmond. Rich, Mitch Richmond. Wow, his name is kind of hard to say. Do I dislike this card? No, I don't think he's bad. Do I think he's worth the five, six hundred K he's currently going for on PC? No. I think this card's worth about like 30, 35 K, which is a pretty good price. I mean, that's what I would be willing to buy him for if I was just playing and I wasn't collecting anything. But when you're collecting, you're going to pay a premium on some of your cards. So, yeah, he's worth about like 30, yeah, I'd say 35 K. It's not like he's bad. His animations for dribbling aren't that good, but it's his jump shot. Like, flexible release means you don't have to hit it spot on. And it's almost as if you're, like, slightly early or slightly late, but you can be a little bit later. I mean, he does have gold clamps, but it's not. he's not going to do that much for other cards because I think he's a shooting guard first, point guard second. But if he's a, a shooting guard small forward, I would highly never recommend you ever use him at small forward. I'll have to check after this game. Because, just like I said, he's not terrible. He's just, to me, he's not, like, god tier like he's supposed to be for the price he's going for. To be honest, I think 2K is not putting up the normal amount of cards. So that's why the numbers for the cards are going for so expensive. Because I highly believe if you play on PC, 2K floods the market with cards. It only is logical that certain packs, the high overalls are super common and other ones are super rare. Like the Dunkers John Wall. That card was going for a million the whole time it was in packs. Let's hit a three real quick, and then we'll go to somebody else. So I'm thinking 2K is deciding that they don't want us to get this card so that not a lot of people can get that Galaxy Opal play. But every card before this set was going for so cheap. Come on, Chris Gaiman. Grab it. Now, let's look at Wally Zerbiak. Let's do his jab. Oh, I forgot why I don't like Wally Zerbiak. His release is also slow. Okay, so Wally Zerbiak is a free card. He's not a paid card. I think he was for last season. And there's another card we were supposed to review, but we're not going to. I already pretty much said if, how he is and that he's pretty good. So Wally Zerbiak in previous years, his card was always really good because he was a very, like, he plays kind of like how Kyrie plays in real life. You can get him to shift around a lot while he's dribbling because his animations were really good. And his jump shot was very fluid. But this year, it's just... He has, like... Uh, mm, it's hard to describe. It's like... Mm -hmm. So, Jerry West is 
in the game, he always has, like, God-tier handles. But in real life, he definitely did not have the handles they were showing because at the time, you wouldn't have been doing those moves. But I would say that they make this card play as if he was an old, like, a 60s point guard who has very simple moves that don't do anything for the game. Like, they're just, he's just not very good. His dribbles are terrible still. I thought that maybe if you upgrade him, it'll boost his animations or something. No, it didn't boost his animations. It gave him badges to be able to do stuff. Like, his shooting is now better, but he didn't gain a boost to any of his shots. Like, the badges are cool because he gets, like, Hall of, Hall of Fame or Gold Dimer or something, and he... Oh! I need to test him. He's quick first step, too. Yeah. I think he gets Gold or Hall of Fame quick first step, which would make a big improvement, but... We're going to test to see if... You can feel the quick first step. Just... Yeah, you can definitely feel it. You can tell he has quick first step now and he didn't before. But I don't feel that it, it is enough to make that card good enough. They should have changed what his boosts were. I think they should have, one, increased his handles. Two, made him faster. At least, I would say, not like... 10 or 15 I would say like 6 faster at least make him like an like almost a 90 like an 89 or something something where he's quick because a lot of cards are coming out that are fast I feel like this Mitch Richmond probably has 94 95 speed and he, I don't think he's really that fast of a card now we are easily I think it's to 70 so we're halfway through we still need to review Chris Kamen I'm not going to lie, I am just old enough to remember him playing, but I don't, like, I'm not, I wasn't the biggest fan of basketball, even when I started watching basketball, I just like playing it, not like 2K, like, yeah, I like playing 2K, but it's more or less, I just wanted to go outside and play basketball, so a lot of, like, Chris Kamen being one of them players who's not really that great, but it's not like he was terrible, like, he was good. And he probably was in the league for a couple years. I don't understand why they gave him, gave us him. Like, I would have preferred, like, um, you could have gave us, like, D. Brown. I would have been more okay with that. Like, we got a lot of useless cards that don't make sense. Because I feel like Kamen, even in 2K, never hit, like, an 80. Like, I get Wally Zerbiak. At least Wally Zerbiak was, like, one of the top tier cards on his team. I don't even remember when... Heyman was on the Clippers. Like, I feel like he didn't play with Chris Paul in them. Or he might have. I don't know. He might have been the backup for DeAndre Jordan. Holy moly. That block was pretty nice. So he is a real deal center. He's not, a, like, a phony center. He's not like Bob McAdoo. Bob McAdoo is just a god-tier power forward. And a small center who can play really good defense. I'm not going to... Oh, oh him. I'm not going to lie to be like, oh, yeah, you're not even that great. No, 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 no. Bob McAdoo is fire. I don't think you should pay 700k for him. No way. I think you should pay like 50, 60k. Is all, that's fair. 70? I would say 70k is pretty fair for him. He is that good of a card. Now, Cayman, you had to lock in everybody, which I'm perfectly fine with. I don't care. I'll have to figure out a way to make some money probably in the next pack, which is fine by me because we're coming into a new season. For you guys, it's today, but for me, it's tomorrow. Obviously, you can compare how many days are left and be like, oh, yeah, you did this yesterday. Because I always edit a video, then put it out the next day just so it has time to do all the processing and everything. If I wanted to, I probably could post it today, but I'm not going to. So, is Cayman worth the amount of money you would have to put in to get him? Now, let's say you bought every card for what they're currently going for right now on PC. Now, we know Rich, Mitch, I don't want to call him Rich, probably because that's just a, a nicer sounding name. We know Mitch Richmond's going for about five, 600k. 
we know Bob McAdoo is going for 900k. So right there you have 16k. And who was it? Agent Zero is going for what was the cheapest we saw him? Let's say 70k. So we're at a hundred one point one million six hundred thousand seven hundred k. And then let's say the both top the bottom two cards are both going for five k each, which is pretty fair. They probably now let's say they're going for six k together. So you have what? What is it? Sixteen one one million six hundred thousand seventy uh, seventy six. For Chris Kamen. Does Chris Kamen play for some card that's worth a million coins? No. Not even close. Not even close. Is he worth a lock in? Listen, if you're playing the game to collect cards, I would say go ahead, go collect him. That's absolutely fine. If you're collecting, collect. I don't know how you're making your coins. If it's sniping, hey, you're smart. You gotta know the market. You need to know how much you can put a bid on a card, still be able to sell them. Or you need to know when a card for a buy now is significantly cheaper than the next card above it. Like if you could pick up, for us there's a lot of like, um, not a lot, but there's often cards that are just dead cards. They're just not up anymore. If you could find like two dead cards, buy both of them, sell one of them, and make a profit, you could wait and then sell the second one for another profit. I think a lot, I think... The lower tier cards on this pack are pretty good. The mid tier, which is the diamond, was not that it was not that great. It's not like you're terrible, you just wasn't good. Rich let Mitch Richmond take over. That too. Like Mitch Richmond and McAdoo are fire, but not for the price that they're going for. Like, do I think they're both really good cards? Yeah. Do I would I use McAdoo? Of course I would. That card is God. God tier. Would I use this, uh, Mitch Richmond? Eh, it depends. Do I need more three shooting? Like, that's really his thing. He's a three shooter. He's not really going to take it to the paint and drive, which is a negative. He also has rage extender, which means if somebody's not guarding you, you could just do a quick step back, does a bang out, and you'll be fine. So, Cayman for me just wasn't worth it. Rich, M Mitch Richmond is kind of worth it, just not worth the price. And Zerbiak. You don't need to upgrade him because it doesn't make that much of a difference and you won't really feel it unless he is one of your favorite cards and you want to use him. Like quick first step does help, but it doesn't help him enough for you to be like, oh yeah, he feels like he's worth it now. No, he does not feel like he's worth it now. When I do my Clay Thompson video, that video is going to be fun. I don't know what game I'm going to do it over, but I'll do it over something. That'll be fun. That'll be fun. Ooh, I can do my... Okay, so I when I beat this game, I get... Um, I get the Amy card. And then I will open him right now because I'm going to have him and another card in a video together. So we're not going to open up that Galaxy Oval Clay Thompson yet. I'm going to show you guys a video of him tomorrow, which will be day two of the season, which I will be hopefully grinding out some XP so I can get some of the new cards in that set. I haven't yet to get any of the Galaxy Opals from XP, but that's because nobody wants to know life every character that there is. And you have to buy everybody too, so if you're not buying everybody, you're not getting enough cards to be able to do the XP, to be able to do some of the stuff to get anything at all. Yes. Did he become better? Yes. Did he become better? He wasn't that good in the first place. Like, Brad Davis at least had a use where you could use him super specific. Oh, yeah. I forgot to check what what's his name was. Oh, I would not. No. I kind of changed what I would say about Richmond. Mitch, Richmond. He's got a 95.3. He should at least have, like, a 97.3. I need to compare him to somebody. Let's just go like this. I swear I have like his Amethyst card or something. Because I know he has other cards. I don't remember. Oh, right here. I don't know if he has a diamond. And if he does, I didn't get it. 
Like, is he better than his previous card? I remember when this card came out, people were like, oh, my God, use Mitch, Mitch Richmond. Wow, his name is so, like, I want to switch the letters for some reason. Like, it's not like this is a bad card. Just, he would be better as a shooting guard point guard and not a shooting guard small forward. Because, yeah, he can dunk. His defensive stats are all right. His rebounding is pretty bad. Oh, he's slow. He is slow. Yeah, he felt slow. And weak. Yeah. Yeah, I take it back. I don't I don't think you should get this card. Don't give Mitch Richmond unless you can get him for 15k or below. That's what I would actually put him at value for. But when I rev when I go and review Clay Thompson, I will tell you if he is worth the struggle of getting all these cards and we're going to do Sean Marion at the same time. We'll do what I normally do. It'll just be probably Clay highlights and then at the end I'll talk about Sean Marion. So, come back for the video tomorrow. I know today's a new season for you, but tomorrow will be a new season for me, and I'll make sure to pump out that video. It should be pretty good. As you can see, I wasn't close to getting Kawhi. It's 87,000. And I'm not really that upset that I didn't get him. So, come back tomorrow. We will be talking about the new season, and we'll be doing something. I don't know. I'll talk about something. So, come back for the next one. Peace.